Okay, so for question 2a, I have to show that angle AOP equals the pi over 3. And we also know that the distance between O and P is radius R, and that each circle lies on the circumference of the other, which means that AO is R, and that AP is also R. This means that triangle AOP is an equilateral triangle. which means each angle is 60 degrees. And 60 degrees is essentially 180 degrees divided by 3. 180 degrees because all angles um, in a triangle add up to 180, and because it's an equilateral, you divide it by 3, and therefore you get 60, and that is also equivalent to pi over 3. Therefore, angle AOP, which is one of the angles in triangle AOP, also equals to pi over 3. Here's Okay, now I have to find the angle AOB, and since we have already established that each circle lies on the circum circumference of the other, this also means that OB equals to R and PB equals to R. Therefore, um, triangle AOP equals to triangle BOP which means triangle AO, I mean, sorry, angle AOP equals to angle BOP. So these two angles are the same. Now, we have to find angle AOB. Therefore, angle AOB, which is this one right here, AOB equals to triangle, I mean, sorry, angle AOP times 2, which equals to 60 degrees times 2, which equals to 120 degrees. From part A of question 2, we found that angle AOB equals 120 de degrees. Now, because angle AOB equals to angle APB, angle APB also equals to 120 degrees. Therefore, um, the sector APAOB of the circle center P would be 120 degrees 300, over 360 degrees times pi r squared which equals to one-third pi r squared, and that is the shaded area. For the first part of part C, I have to show that the length of AB is root 3 r. Firstly, we already know that triangle AOP and BOP are equilateral triangles, as all of their sides have our radius r. So in order to tackle this question, I'm going to be finding the height of A, to, let's call this bit y. I'm going to be finding the height of a to y. So firstly, the height, and this would be 90 degrees. And we already know that since this is an equilateral triangle, this is going to be 60 degrees. So then, in order to find x right here, which is the height, we're going to use the sine um, rule. So sine... 60 degrees equals to AY over R. AY equals to sine which equals to root. 
3 over 2R. And because these are equilateral triangles, AY equals to BY. Therefore, BY also equals to root 3 over 2R. Now we need to find the length of AB, which equals to AY plus BY, which equals to root 3 over 2 r plus root 3 over 2 r which equals to root 3 r okay now I'm going to show that the area of the overlap of the circles is this here so firstly we've already established that angle AOB is 120 degrees which means that angle APB is also 120 degrees so firstly in order to find the area of the overlap of circles I'm going to be finding the sector area um, of AOPB from O. So firstly, I need to find this shaded region here. And in order to do that, I need to use uh, the sector area formula. So here, this is 120 degrees. Um, 120 degrees over 360 degrees times pi r squared which equals to 1 third pi r squared. So now I'm going to find the, air, the sector area of PAOB from P. So I need to find this area here. And that is also 120 degrees over 360 degrees times pi r squared, which equals to... Okay, now we have this value, 2 over 3 pi r squared, which represents the area of the overlapped circle. However, we've doubled um, the area of these two triangles. So now I'm going to find the area of these two triangles and subtract it from this value here so that we don't have any duplications. So... In order to do that, I'm finding the area of one triangle first. And we already know that um, one side is r, and the height is root 3 over 2 r. And therefore, because we're finding two triangles, I'm doing 2 times the area of one triangle, which is r times, oh, base, which is r, times height, which is root 3 r over 2, times half. And that equals 2 root 3 over 2 R squared. So this is the area of these two triangles and now I'm going to subtract it from this value here so that there's no double ups. So that means 2 over 3 pi r squared minus root 3 over 2 r squared equals to 2 r squared pi over 3 minus root 3 over 4 just like the question says.